Hi, this is the CAD CAM Lessons channel, and in this video, I'll show you how to create these interesting fillets in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a completely free 3D modeling program that anyone can use. Anyone can create their own 3D models in this program, and FreeCAD can be used both for hobby and commercial purposes. Before we start, just a quick note, you'll find links to my FreeCAD mini courses in the description. It's also a great way to support the channel. Now, let's get started. Now I'll switch to FreeCAD and show you how we can create these fillets. I'll create a new parametric part and here I'll start by creating a sketch. We'll create a sketch on the XY plane. And we'll make a rectangle sketch. Choose the centered rectangle command. Place the center of the rectangle at the origin point of the coordinate system and enter 100 by 70 millimeters as the rectangle dimensions. Okay, now based on this sketch, we'll create a solid with a height of 30 millimeters. Now, when it comes to fillets, we add fillets based on edges. And we have the fillet operation here, which is an operation that allows us to create fillets. However, as you can see here, we can only create fillets in such a way that it's simply a uniform fillet along the entire length of the edge. If you'd like to create a more interesting fillet, we need to approach this a bit differently, and we have several different ways to do this. The first method is we can, for example, use the loft operation, and we can create a fillet between two sketches. We can create a sketch on this face, and here we'll create a fillet sketch. Okay, I won't go into details here, I won't explain exactly how to do this. If you want to learn the basics of FreeCAD, in the description I put a link to a tutorial in which I show the basics of 3D modeling in FreeCAD. Okay, we have a fillet sketch here. And now on this face, we'll create a similar sketch. But here, for example, we'll specify a different diameter for this circle. Okay, we have two such sketches. Now holding the control key, we select these sketches in the operation tree and choose the subtractive loft operation here. Okay, and in this way we can create such a fillet. And this already looks quite interesting. If you're creating elements where appearance is very important, the loft operation can be very useful. Now I'll show you another method. I'll delete this operation. Okay, I have two sketches here. I'll delete this sketch too but I'll keep this sketch because we'll use this sketch for the next operation. Here I'll create a construction plane in such a way that this plane passes through this edge of the solid. Okay, and now on this plane, I'll create a sketch. I'll create a three-point arc here. We'll make something more or less like this. I won't dimension this arc. I'll close the sketch. And now I'll go to edit this sketch. And here I'll increase the radius of this fillet a bit, for example, to 30 millimeters. Okay. And now we'll create the fillet using the subtractive pipe operation. I select the fillet sketch, I choose this operation, and here I indicate the path along which this operation will be performed. I click OK, and here, notice how this looks. It looks like this operation wasn't completed fully. That's why I'm going to edit this operation, and here, 
as the orientation mode, I'll choose fixed. I click OK and now we have such a fillet and as you can see in quite a simple way we've created such a fillet that looks really interesting. Now I select this operation, I choose the mirror command. And in this way, we've created such a solid. And as you can see, in quite a simple way, we can achieve interesting effects.